now I'm going to show you how to use the uh, C Electrical V8R2 report generator to create some uh, calculated fields. So we're going to use a parts list for this. So we've got a file, report generator, and we're going to create a new report in here. So put up materials with totals. So we're going to use a custom query for this um, just to make it a bit simpler so we can see what's going on. So instead of just using the actual field IDs, we're actually giving them an alias type, description, goods group, manufacturer, price, and quantity. So we go to next. And again, we've got our report designer. So in here, we can actually make sure we've got the table as the uh, data member. And we can add perhaps a table. Let's just change this and actually put this as being aerial at the beginning. And then we should be able to drag a table onto there so we can get some values on. So we've got a few fields that we can use already. So we can say we need to know the type. We perhaps need to know its description. And perhaps we need to know the quantity. And then, sorry, let's just right click and insert column to the right and put the price in there. So we've got some information. Let's select the whole of that, drag it across so we've got a bit more space. Make a bit more space for the description. And then we've got the quantity and the price on the end. So let's see what we've got at the moment. So we've got a basic looking report with some quantities and some pricing in there. Now, if we want to actually calculate not just the actual quantity and price, but a total for that line, then we can do that by adding a calculated field. So if you right click in the field list, right click on the table, we can add a calculated field. It adds it straight away. And the easiest thing then is to right click and choose edit the expression. And in there, we can then see what expression we can actually create for this calculated field. Now the first thing is we need some fields so we need to calculate the quantity times by the price. Now as you're doing this notice that these values have a type system double and system string. Now you can't do a mathematical calculation on a string so what we have to do and we'll do this to both of these is type two double and then surround that by brackets. So we're basically converting these to doubles so that they will correctly calculate. Um, it's really important that the um, case is correct for that. This is using C sharp in the background. So T, capital T and capital D for two double. So we know we've got two double characters there. Um, we can actually edit that calculated field and at the bottom we've got the name of that. So we'll say this is line total. And you can see that's now a new field. We can right click, insert a column to the right and we can drag that into the box. Check on the print preview and we should find quantity of 10 at £3.95 a metre and we've got £39.50. Um, so it's a simple calculation. It's working that out. The last thing to do is to add a summary of the uh, line totals to the page footer. So drag that same field line total to the end. And you will notice on each of those um, fields that when you click on the top right, you get a small icon there and you can then go into summary section. And you can say across what area this summary is going to run. So we'll say across the whole report and we can format this. Let's bring up the formatting. Currency is not in there so we go to custom and we'll change that for a pound in there. And then OK. So now this should be a summary across the whole report. So if we click on the print preview, the report runs. Each line total is correct and then at the bottom we've got a sum total for the whole project.